Benedictine Military School has been around for almost 120 years. We've been through major depressions, through world wars, through other pandemics, and we will continue to work and to strive to provide the best educational experience that the Savannah community has come to trust and is the reason why so many families send their sons to Benedictine. We are a school with a soul on a mission. We feel that it is absolutely necessary to let our students know that we are there to care for them. We began preparing for this crisis back in February, and we have continued to evolve our online program. Our faculty is doing everything they can do to ensure that their syllabi are being advanced. And as of now, all of our seniors are on pace to graduate, and all of our students are ready to matriculate to the next grade level. BC has handled itself phenomenally. We couldn't have asked for a more seamless transition for online learning. The communication from BC to the families is constant and we couldn't have asked for better. One of the ways that we've opened our campus to the community is by supporting the healthcare workers of St. Joseph's Candler's children here on campus. We've had a daycare here since early March and we've been proud to host them and to support them as we go through these trials and tribulations. We are providing lunches uh, for the students and to that extent over the course of the last six weeks, we have provided over 5,000 lunches for our students. Demonstrating commitment and stability to our community during these times, Benedictine has not furloughed any employees. It was almost immediate that they came up with a plan. We didn't have to wait and figure out what the kids were gonna do. The teachers and the faculty came in, they uh, clearly told us what it was gonna be. They had it set up right and had all the right resources there to move forward. And with that being the phrase here, forward, always forward, we felt that was uh, really important and the leadership has been amazing. Our top two priorities are the safety of our cadets, faculty, and staff, and continuing academic progress as we move into the 2020-21 school year. We have options. We can begin our school year in the traditional bricks and mortar settings. We can move to a blended model where cadets are at home for parts of the week and at school for other parts of the week or we can continue to execute our Care for the 400 online learning program. We, we really haven't been stressed when it comes to that because they've been really fulfilling everything we need when it comes to being a BC family. Our small average class size of 15 and our 90 acre campus allows us plenty of room for social distancing. We can do this. They're keeping you abreast of everything that's going on. The principal reaches out to you, you know, the guidance counselor, teachers, trainers, coaches, just to make sure that the students are okay and the parents as well. To the BC staff and faculty, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Your care through all of this and the online learning and your patience and constant contact with the families and the students goes beyond recognition the staff, the teachers, the coaches, the cafeteria workers, everybody here, because it takes a family to raise a child. It had been easy just to let them fall by the wayside, but I think the teachers have gone uh, overboard trying to help the students stay focused and, and get the job done and to finish up the year strong. And we are so blessed to be part of this BC family. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you, BC. Thank you, BC. Thank you, BC. Thank you, BC. And recalling the words of our founder, man's adversity is God's opportunity. Always move forward, forward, always forward. Again, we welcome you to BC.